Hello, welcome to part two of our looking at the book, William and His Friends. Hollow tubes and rods of glass, a Bunsen burner and Mariana Van Alesh are all that was needed to create this fragile toy. The blue color is well suited to such a timorous elephant, American, 20th century. So this, the artist of this was uh, Mariana Van Alesh of this uh, whimsical elephant. Jade has been the favorite medium of the Chinese for many centuries. Its shimmer appeals to the eye and its smooth coolness to the touch. This piece of jade shades from a greenish white in the deer to a soft brown in the leaves under the feet. Chinese, 18th century. Jerboa mice are found in the desert. Jerboa mice are found in the desert. They are jumping mice with long tails. These three are made of faience. They are glazed the soft white and brown. They are glazed the soft white with brown markings to blend with their native sand. Egyptian. 2000 to 1788 BC. Herbert Hazeltine has made a collection of portraits of British champions. Included are bulls, rams, and boars, all noted creatures in the animal world. The museum possesses the Percheron family in bronze. The stallion is named Rum, is named Rum, and here are Massaline and her foal, American, 20th century. So this was created by Herbert Hazeltine. That's very interesting to know that he'd made a collection of portraits of British champions. The ivory elephant was a chess piece. Originally, there was a rider on its back, but only a part of him is still to be seen. Mesopotamian, or possibly Indian, 8th to 10th century. Rock crystal is a precious material that is often used for the making of jewelry. The piece chosen for this rabbit is so clear that it seems to be made of ice. Chinese, 1736-1795. It just shows you that you can find some very interesting uh, books uh, sometimes in some of these uh, bookshops. Francis Pompon, let's get it to focus a little. Francis Pompon always made friends with his models, and they seemed to enjoy posing for him. The polar bear, the polar bears, were great favorites of his. Although they are often fierce, he found them as playful as kittens. This one is carved from white marble, French, 20th century.
A little bronze horse marches as if to music. Originally, it may have carried a rider, or perhaps it pulled a chariot in some gala procession. We must imagine the gay harness, arching tail, and flashing eyes. Greek, about 470 B.C. Pablo Gargallo's studio resembled a smithy. He took heavy sheet metal, heated it with a blowtorch, hammered and twisted it into shape. The separate pieces were later riveted together. This cock is made of wrought iron. Spanish, 20th century. The accidents of firing sometimes give potters a surprise. Probably the man who made this yellow cat intended to outline the eyes in brown. The glaze ran down and gave him a very woebegone puss indeed. English, Staffordshire, 18th century. Oh, so the color ran, ran down from the eyes on this uh, cat that the potter had uh, done. Staffordshire. Staffordshire work, English. This is the uh, 18th century. The potters of this, you can see the difference in the pottery work that, was, that they did, the different artistic ways they did it. The potters of Copenhagen have a zoo nearby and an aviator. The potters of Copenhagen have a zoo nearby and an aviary at the pottery. Seagulls from the harbor are forever circling overhead. Turkeys, ducks, and geese are encouraged to pose for groups like this one by G. Harold, Dutch, 20th century. So this is G. Harold, Danish. 20th century. We can learn a lot from these books that we can pick up sometimes or find however way we can do that. Two black kitties with green eyes are made of porcelain. They snuggle by the fire their tails curled up, their tongues hanging out. Chinese, 18th century. Stoneware is the, ter is the sturdiest type of pottery. Nud Kain of Copenhagen used it to make this powerful ape. The colors are gray, green, brown, and a deep blue. Danish, 20th century. So that's the end of the book there. Do we have it there? Hold on. So that's uh, the book. Get, get another shot of the book here. William and his friends. William and his and his friends. Very interesting. And this was in the library. This was in the New York uh, Public Library. Fort Washington branch. This is rather vintage here. People took it out in 36 and 1949. See New York, New York Publi Public Library. Here we go. The Viking Press, 1936. Okay. 
Okay, thank you very much for watching again. Thank you. Take care. See you again next time.